of Spice where everything's nice. I'm Horror Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror Spice. And on this miscellaneous Monday, we bring you the Entity. And we decided to pair that with Treo's Hot Sauce L.A. Picante. Frorote, uh, yeah, sabrosa. Yeah. Cat's getting jealous. <laughs> there we go. But they don't want you to taste it. Mmm, it smells really good. Really watery. Really watery. Okay. One, two, three. The entity, something evil, is after Carla Moran. And we'll stop at nothing to get her. Colin Morang quietly undressed for bed. Sudden, suddenly, she is thrown across the room and violently raped, but she sees no one. There is no explanation for the bruises and the furniture tossed everywhere. No explanation except the entity. And Sydney F. Fourier's engrossing intelligent and provocative supernatural thriller LA Times uh, Barbara Hershey battles a terrifying invisible presence that determined to possess her body and soul inspired by startling true incident this chilling account chronicles Carla's continuing uh, attacks her frustration with the psychiatrist Ron Silver, useless explanations, and the terror of living with the mysterious unseen assailant. It is only when uh, parapsychologists witness the shocking phenomenon uh, that the plan is devised to capture and destroy whatever it is that has turned Carla's life into a living hell. 1982, approximately 125 minutes long, and it was directed by Frank Delafonta. Delafonta. There's the front. There's the back. There's the cassette. What did you think of the house itself? Oh, I loved it. Sauce. It was uh, it was nice and spicy. I don't know what peppers they put in there, but. It was, um, to me, almost habanero. Uh, it was water, vinegar, chipotle pepper, uh, mm. chili de arbo pepper, uh, guajalo pepper, chili puya pepper, California intro pepper, sea salt, kosher salt, oregano, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, mixed seasoning. Wow, well, well, it was great. I love it. Totally gonna use it on tacos. Yes. <laughs> Taco Tuesday that we celebrate Taco Tuesday here. Now on the entity. The um I really when this came out I was a young girl, so obviously I didn't see it until later, but once I saw it later and that was in my teenage years it freaked me the hell out because this is actually after true events, you know, a true story about a woman, you know, that this happened to. And that really got to me and 
you you get shot by some of the things that happen and think, God, what if this happened to me? But it's definitely a great watch. It, you, you don't ever get bored. There's always something going on and there's always something happening. So if you want a while, you know, well, ride down a, you know, supernatural, possibly alien way, here you go. Uh, check it out. It's worthy film. It's um, underrated and I think it must, you know, it should be much more celebrated. Um, you can thank Freudianism for what happened to the original, uh, ori uh, the original woman. Um, they uh, couldn't uh, prove her any other way, and Freud, uh, Freud uh, dictates that she wanted to fuck her son, so uh, this is how it went. Um, uh, unfortunately, the uh, way I understand it, uh, she died never really getting rid of the entity. Um, as far as the movie goes, it, it was a great portrayal. Uh, it showed uh, her confidence uh, through all the uh, pain and turmoil she went through. And uh, it was uh, touching uh, when she finally realized that she was not alone in her fight. Um, great uh, pairing with the uh, Trejo sauce. Uh, man himself uh, fought a good fight and turned out uh, for the best for him. Mm -hmm. uh, I would re recommend both the Entity and the Trejo Sauce. How about you? Yes, I give them both five peppers. I give them both five out of five peppers for sure. Well, from Horror of Spice and Mrs. Horror Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye! Bye.